Start off by removing this panel right behind the door handle here using your non-marring flat panel plastic removal tool. Uh, start from the back and uh, roll it forward like so. And then beneath that's going to be one Phillips head screw. Using your panel or your hands, plot this little window switch mechanism and unplug all the connectors. It's probably easier to get like a like a tool I have and just wedge it underneath and pull it forward. Next, pull this piece off, this armrest piece off. The little plastic dongle right there, just kind of turn it sideways and pull straight out. And then remove two Phillips screws from the area. Remove this uh, top tweeter piece. Just by pulling straight out, it has one clip on it, one pressure fitted clip. And then start at the bottom of the door, pull outwards to remove all the pressure fitting clips. And just keep working your way up until you get to the top. And then you should be able to lift up on the door to get off of the track. Remove these levers from the door by pulling outwards and lifting up. Then pull out this, remove this window sill just note its orientation before you put it back. It's kind of confusing. There's a little uh, rubber boot right here. Just remove it. And that's how you're going to access the bolts behind it. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove one bolt next to this little uh, harness that goes to the rear view mirror. And then from the side there, use a uh, plastic panel removal tool. Press in and then pull outwards towards the end of the door. It's a little difficult to remove, but with some patience, it'll come out. Now, uh, remove the Molex plug behind this area. That's the rear view mirror plug for all the power and controls. And there's a little uh, clip there. Use a panel door removal tool or a clip removal tool, some type of tool to remove this piece. Now you'll have access to all three bolts that hold the mirror in place. Uh, of course, 10 millimeter. And obviously in the last bolt you have, you might want to hold the mirror so it doesn't fall down when you release that last bolt. Just pull that harness through. This is the back side of it. And hopefully I held the part number long enough for you guys to see if you guys need the information. Then you can pause the video. So that little groove in the back, that little groove right there goes to the back of the window. Just in case you forgot to write down which way it went. Thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.